Well, this is definitely an invite I'd have to turn down for sure. Hey gang, welcome to another edition of Schlocktoberfest, where it's a review of the movie Open House. Now, the plot of this movie is about a maniac going around killing real estate developers. And he kills these people in some pretty odd ways. The movie opens up with a real estate developer trying to sell a house to this Japanese couple. And she finds a dead body in the bathtub, so obviously she's not going to sell that house. Okie dokie. <laughs> right. Well, no, well, no. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, so, yeah, there are some pretty, pretty gruesome deaths. The movie opens up with a woman calling in to a uh, radio psychologist who basically blames her sorry life on her being molested for two years and she winds up blowing her brains out in a phone booth. Yeah, the movie was done in the 80s, so phone booths were still pretty pretty popular and used quite often. Uh, so yeah, she blows her brains out while, while talking to our radio psychologist Hero and the movie just goes on from there with uh, multiple uh, real estate developer deaths. Um... Some pretty gruesome, pretty gruesome stuff. In fact, one of them that I actually kind of laughed at, and I shouldn't have, but I couldn't help it. Uh, when the killer starts going around and the murders start piling up, uh, the owner, or the one who pretty much runs this uh, popular real estate business, uh, starts telling people to, to use the buddy system. Well, one guy finds out that his wife is giving birth. He gets on the phone to go talk to her and everything like that and make arrangements to go to the hospital, be with her. And the woman who's with him says says something about, you know, don't worry, I'll, I'll hang around here at the house. And the killer, you pretty much see the killer. You don't see what he does to her until afterwards when she's hanging from the ceiling in the house. So... I'm not making that up. That's that's not a pun. That's really what happened. Uh, so anyway, uh, he winds up taking um, the radio DJ's girlfriend, holding her hostage, and threatens to kill her because uh, she's the one who's also a real estate developer too. And and of course, you know, there's the whole monologue about you know why is he going around killing people, and he find, and he explains that. Uh, his house was taken away from him without his consent and all this other stuff, and he's been homeless for several years. Well, the police come in, shoot him down a couple of times, and then they wind up, even, even shot him once in the head, which didn't do any good. He does the old, you know, revive, come back from the dead kind of thing to try and get his revenge one more time, but he winds up being thrown over a, uh, a, a, a trellis or one of those really high porch-like things that's about, you know, eight feet off the ground. <laughs> And that's apparently what kills him. About five or six bullets didn't do it, but a, but a fall from a highest place like that does kill him. Okay. So there you pretty much have it. Open House. And it stars Joseph Bottoms, who you might know from uh, The Black Hole. Adrian Barbeau, who has been in numerous movies uh, like Escape from New York. And Darwin Suave, who played the killer in this movie. You might remember him as the big, bald guy from Police Academy 6, and he was also in Barton Fink. Of course, he's no longer with us, which is kind of sad. Uh, so there you pretty much have it. Open house. Yeah, looking at, looking at what that looks like, you can keep your invite. If you like my videos, feel free to subscribe. Until uh, next time. For Schlocktoberfest, stay strong and rock on.